the economy and Evan Gerskovich right now, Evan Gerskovich, the uh, Wall Street Journal reporter, uh, being held in a Russian prison. Let's drop on in for this and maybe some answers on the cocaine that was found in the West Wing. Secondly, for the entry, go to the holiday. Can you give any more details on where the Secret Service found cocaine in the West Wing and how it got? So, as you know, this is under the preview of the Secret Service. Uh, they are currently investigating uh, what happened over the weekend, so I would have to refer you uh, to, the Secret First, to the Secret Service on all of this. But one thing that I can share, that I'll, that I'll uh, share a little bit or more information, as you know, the, the, the President and the First Lady and their family were not here this weekend, as you all reported on this. No, but and, Hunter was. you also know that they left on Friday and returned just yesterday. Uh, where, uh, where this was discovered, uh, is a heavily traveled area where yeah, many okay. White House, uh, West Wing, I should be even more specific, the uh, West Wing visitors uh, come through uh, this particular area. I just don't have anything more to share. It is under investigation by the Secret Service. This is in their purview, and so we're gonna, going to allow uh, certainly the investigation As to problem. continue. And promise. I'm confident that the Secret Service will get to the bottom. Now of you do your promise and subscribe. Let's get to the bottom of what happened here. Well, I may I just said that we have confidence that the Secret Service is going to get to the bottom of this. As you all know, the president follows all the reporting here, uh, and he certainly was briefed by his staff. Yeah, he'll Everything cover it up, don't you worry. So far, but the Secret Service is investigating this, is investigating and that's as far as it'll go. We have confidence that they will get to the bottom of this. Secondly, is there still a chance that Sweden will be approved by into NATO by the time of next week's summit? So look, this is something that the president, as you know, the Sweden prime minister is here. They're currently meeting as we speak uh, right now in the Oval Office. As some of your colleagues, maybe yourself, Steve, was able to uh, was able to uh, be in in the Oval Office. Maybe, maybe, so look, maybe, I mean, we've been very clear on this. Yeah. We've, uh, we've encouraged Turkey uh, and Hungary to approve Sweden's application for NATO uh, membership as soon as possible. Uh, and uh, Sweden, and I said this last week, I've said this many times, has fulfilled the commitments they made under the uh, trilateral memorandum of agreement. You said a lot of things many times, but win, you're a liar. Uh, to, to with Finland and Turkey on the margins of the NATO summit in, the, in Madrid just last year, about a year ago. Sweden is a strong, capable defense partner that shares NATO's values and will strengthen the alliance and, contr and contribute to European security. And so we believe that this should occur, uh, that their partnership into uh, uh, them to become me members in NATO as soon as possible. And uh, that's what you'll continue to hear from the president. I think uh, uh, the Sweden prime minister being here today, having a meeting with the president certainly uh, shows that commitment. Thanks, Green. Just two quick follow-ups. Uh, you said the president has been briefed on the cocaine that was found at the White House. Is the White House conducting its own in internal investigation? This is something that's under the purview of the Secret Service. They're the ones who handle this investigation, so it lives uh, in in, uh, in their purview. Come on, Cream. Tell and the, the truth. Just a quick follow-up on this type of tour. Can you explain to the American people who would have access to the West Wing on this type of tour and what kind Hunter. of calls are? The so when it comes to uh, security protocol, that's something that the Secret Service certainly is going to handle, and so that is a question for them. Uh, when it comes to when it comes to visitors to the West Wing, uh, they come for many reasons. Uh, obviously, we do have uh, West Wing tours that, that occur here uh, on campus. Uh, they happen in this particular past uh, couple of days. They happen on Friday, they happen on Saturday uh, and Sunday. And I'm sure they were screened. What happen is when there's a federal holiday, like yesterday, there was not uh, a West Wing tour. Uh, and also when there's a white and big always tell when she arrives. Look at that mic back. So I don't have anything more to share uh, on uh, on the particulars. Again, when it comes to security, when it comes to anything of those types of protocols, that is something that Secret Service handles. Okay, Lucia. Thanks, Karine. And congratulations. Thank Should you. I call you President Lucia? <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. I was like, okay, that went over the head or gotten this. <laughs> She wishes. <laughs> One president at a time, Regent. Incoming president, maybe. <laughs> um, I wonder if the cocaine episode has prompted the White House to ask the Secret Service to review its security protocol for I mean, visitors coming in. So let's go, let them do their investigation. Again, this is under their purview. Let's see exactly what occurred and what happened. They're get, going to get to the bottom of this. They mean yeah, the sure they service. are. They're going to cover it up. ahead of, of any changes in protocol or anything like that. Let's let the Secret Service do their job, which we believe and have all the confidence that they will get to the bottom of this. This episode kind of shines a light on the fact that you can bring in illegal substances.
obstruction visit to the White House. So what's preventing a visitor from bringing in anthrax or something that's not magnetic? We're already bringing the White House. No, look, something yeah, that we didn't want. The Bidens. Is under investigation. We're going to get to the bottom to exactly what happened. The Secret Service will, not us. Uh, and so we're going to let the Secret Service do their job. We're just not going to get ahead of, of if or, or whens or changes. We just have to let the Secret Service do their job, which they are. You're welcome. Um, can you just tell us how the White House is assisting the Secret Service with this investigation? Have you made any White House officials available for interviews with law enforcement, for example? Well, look, we're not assisting in anything. This is under the Secret Service purview. This is their uh, their kind of guidance and guidelines, their, uh, their world, and so we're going to let them do their job. Uh, we are not involved in this. This is something that the Secret Service uh, handles under their protocol. Thanks for watching. Please to, subscribe. Uh, investigate and get to the bottom of what happened this weekend, and we appreciate that. And you noted that this is an area where visitors on tour groups often pass by, so is that the, the working theory right now, that it was likely a visitor, and are you confident that this was not a White House staff? <laughs> There is investigation. They're going to get to the bottom of this. What I wanted to be very clear is that this is a heavily, uh, heavily trapped, uh, heavily so traveled, cover up. Uh, to be more accurate, area of the campus of the White House, and uh, and it is where visitors uh, from to the West Wing uh, come through. This is the part where they come through when it comes to coming to the West Wing. I just don't have anything else. I'm not going to speculate on who it was, but just wanted to make that very clear and give you all a little bit more information. I believe the Secret Service is also sharing this as well. And then on a, another topic, uh, uh, among the 12 Palestinians who were killed in the Janine operation uh, carried out by Israel. Please subscribe. Talk to you later.